Hey, what's up guys, I'm Nizio Cole, and this is gonna be a bit of a unconventional video. I've been playing Subnautica a lot recently, and I actually built a base. Now, I did build it in creative, but I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, so today, we're just gonna be doing a little bit of a base tour. So uh, we have the Neptune, or as I like to call it, Starship. Hopefully this one doesn't blow up. So this is what the entire base looks like. I'm actually gonna be expanding a pipeline uh, out there. So we have solar panels over here that's basically powering the whole base. I don't actually know if you need power in creative or not, but uh, I thought it was a nice touch. So when you first come in, this first floor is really just, uh, just, just for support. There's nothing really here just to kind of make it look cool. Um, when we go up here, these are the living quarters. So back here is kind of the utility room. I have a vehicle modification station. Have basically everything you would need if you were actually on this island and you would need to survive. So that's utility room, uh, there's food, a whole bunch of other stuff in there. Out here, these are the solar panels I was talking about before. You can just step out and, you know, admire them, I guess. I, I really like the laser beam effect. Um, showing where the power is, is going to, which I thought was really cool. There's four different rooms. So there's one, two. So there's two right here. And then over here in between the other two rooms is uh, kind of like an observation deck. Um, so actually, you can restart um, with the console command. You can restart the, uh, the Aurora's explosion. So you can view it from here, and it looks really, really cool. And then over here we have another observation deck. And then over here we have the other two bedrooms. So nothing too crazy going on over here, but yeah, that's what we got, oh, storage room right here. Pretty much all we got over here. So when we go down and then we go down again to the actual, this is where most of the the things are in this base. So we have two power stations. I believe this is, um, yes, yeah, is the bioreactor. And then the, over here we have nuclear. So this is basically the underwater power section of the base. And we go a little bit farther and we have a observation deck, another observation deck. Uh, this time it's underwater. And we also have a scanning room. Over here we have water filtration. And that's pretty much all for this floor, but there are uh, different branches. So this ladder will go up to a moon pool with a prawn suit. And then also you can go up again and there's a containment area, put fish in or whatever, and another moon pool with the sea moth. Also, I do apologize if my game is lagging a little bit. I actually do have a lot of builds in this world, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something out for that. So the last and probably my favorite part of the base is if you go back to the nuclear reactor, and then right past here is a little passageway, and it goes down, and it goes down again. And here we go. This place is almost entirely made out of glass. You don't have to worry about structural integrity too much because we're in creative mode. So yeah, this place is almost entirely made out of glass and you can just look down here. I think this is one of my favorite parts in the game. It just looks so beautiful. Um, and especially like you can see all the worms and now there's a mini uh, research station down there, but it's not too important. Um, I actually tried to connect the two, but they were at different levels. They were at uneven levels, so it didn't work. But yeah, this was the base tour of the Orion Station. Let me know if you guys want more of these type of videos. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.